This video is about calculating compound interest variables using Excel. We have the following question. Samuel invested $10,000 at 10% effective annual interest rate for 4 years. Calculate the future value of his investment. Write down the variables we have in the question. In cell A1, write PV which refers to present value. In cell B1, write 10,000 which is the present value amount. In cell A2, write I which refers to effective annual interest rate. In cell B2, write 10%. In cell A3, write N which refers to number of periods, in that example it is years. In cell B3, write 4. Interest and number of periods have the same time unit which is years. In cell A4, write FV which refers to future value. In cell B4, write equal. FV. Open bracket. Choose cell B2 which refers to the rate. Write comma. Choose cell B3 which refers to number of periods. Write comma. There are no periodic payments so write another comma. You could write zero as well. There is a negative relationship between present value and future value. For example, if a person makes a deposit now in a bank so it is cash outflow for him and in the future, he will get the deposit back with interest which is cash inflow for him. Consequently, write minus which states the negative relationship between present value and future value. Choose cell B1 which refers to present value. Close bracket. Press enter. You will get the future value of $14,641.